guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about how to de-stress and stop panicking and stop worrying about your studies because I get it, I know lots of you are probably in your GCSEs or A-levels or university and you might be feeling a little bit stressed at sort of like I find the first half term of an academic year really stressful because it all kind of kicks in and gives you a bit of a panic. Now I had someone message me the other day saying hey I'm in year 12 and I'm really struggling with my subjects can you give me some help and I think for me I feel like a lot of you guys watching somehow somehow think that Manisha seems to have it together, Manisha seems to be someone who knows what she's doing and is really chilled, really relaxed and really hard working and never stressed out and I can tell you that's a little bit far from the truth. I am just like you guys in that sense. I am. I can be super stressed about things. I'm never always on time, always reaching those deadlines, always getting top marked. That is not me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like, I'm going to give you an example. Literally last week, so I don't know if I've ever said, but I'm vice captain of girls at my school. So I need to be, you know, being a good role model, setting an example, all these kinds of things. And I always come late to school. I hate coming late and I'm trying to change that, but my bus gets delayed, I wake up late, da 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 da, I always end up coming late and I hate it. And so last Monday I came late to school and then on Tuesday I also came late to school and this is not on purpose, like I try not to come but it just ends up being late. I'm just, I'm not taking responsibility right now. But um, yes, yeah, so I come to school, I'm late and then once I get to the school gate, my head of year is there and he's basically gives me like a little lecture look, saying, look, Manisha, you're captain of, you know, vice captain of school, vice captain of girls even, and you really need to be setting an example to people, you can't afford to come late. And I'm there and I can feel myself welling up, getting a bit emotional. And then he asks me, you know, how are you dealing with the pressure and the stress of the year 13? How are you coping with it? And I literally just burst into tears and this is so embarrassing. I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing? He's my head of year and I'm crying in front of school. It was really embarrassing. Luckily, he was really nice about it and he was like, you know, sit down, it's okay. Lots of people have felt like this. You're not the only one. And I was there like, okay. Um, and I am someone who cries a lot, so it wasn't like a surprise, but it was also like, I'm there and I'm, I don't know if any of you guys have ever felt like this, if you're crying, but you don't know why you're crying. Like, I genuinely was there like, I don't know why I'm crying, but I felt like I needed to cry, but I don't know why. And so I realized I've just been feeling a little bit stressed and a little bit under pressure because you know, I've got schoolwork, but also UCAS, but also I have so much on my plate right now with YouTube and I have, I'm in the school play and I'm writing a house drama script and I'm doing this and this and that and my pile right now is ridiculous. And so I wanted to make this video to kind of almost be a bit of a reassurance to you guys, to those out there, whether you're doing your GCSEs, your A-levels or university, like I said, it's okay to feel that way. We all are probably feeling this way. And so this video, there are kind of two steps I want to highlight. Number one, realizing and identifying that you are stressed and worried and panicked and realizing that actually that's okay. And number two, doing something about it instead of just wallowing in your self-pity, doing something and making that change. With step number one, I think this is everyone, I think it's just realizing that it's okay to be stressed is okay because I know how I feel sometimes when I'm stressed, I'm like, oh no, I'm the only one falling behind. And it's like, actually, Manisha, majority of the people around you are also stressed. People getting those top marks and the bottom marks and everywhere in between are probably also stressed. And I think that's really important to realize that because sometimes you can feel so alone. Like when I was messaging this person, you know, the moment I said, I'm also stressed, don't worry, they felt so relieved. They're like, that's so reassuring to hear. Because I think you sometimes do forget that. And so do remember, you're not the only one. So many people are also finding this tough. And in a way, it's meant to be tough. A-levels, university, GCSEs, they're not meant to be easy. It's meant to challenge you. So realise that. And don't look at that as a bad thing, but realise that actually, you know, I'm meant to be feeling like this. But then, like, as I said, with the second step, it's doing something about it. Instead of just being like, I'm so stressed, I hate my life, and just bottling it in and continuing on, that's not gonna get any better. It's probably gonna get worse. Do something about it, make that change so you can be happier and less stressed out. 
And there are sort of three kind of things that I do when I get stressed. And these are just three tips. You don't have to use them, but feel free to. So number one is when it comes to preparation. And this is just all in terms of like academics. So when it comes to preparation, I mean like preparation for your exams and your topic tests. Because I know so many times when I haven't done my preparation, haven't done my revision properly, I'm stuck in a test and I'm freaking out and I wanna cry and I'm like, I'm so stressed right now. And I'm sure regardless of what subject you take, you probably felt that way. And um, so there are kind of three steps within like the preparation stage. So for me, the three steps for any test, and this kind of works a bit more for subjects like the sciences, you know, maths, maybe humanities, that kind of thing. For me, what I do is number one, I do my revision. I read up on it, I read up on my textbook. I look at my notes from school. I read things online. I watch some YouTube videos on that topic. Then number two, I'll write my notes. I find it really helpful to write notes because it's like, right, if I can write it out, you know, I'm really understanding it. I'm going through it. I'm really clarifying those different points with myself. And then the third stage, which I banged on about, is exam questions. So, you know, I do my revision, I make my notes, I do some exam questions, and for me, that's my preparation done. And it's really good because it makes me feel less stressed out. I don't know about you guys, but once I do that, oh, I feel like, okay, I've set myself in a good place, whatever happens, happens. And my stress levels automatically just go down because I feel like I've done the prep and I feel like I've, it's like that saying, was it like, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. So, you know, if I've done that preparation, I'm like, I feel okay, I feel good about it. So definitely preparation, do it. It's, ne it's like a necessity, it's so much better. Number two on the stage of how to de-stress is something really specific, but really simple, and I've spoken about it before, making lists. And this is the first thing I did this morning, like Monday half term, I wrote myself a to-do list and I have about 20 things to do on it. So I do get why some people find to-do lists intimidating and actually not that helpful because sometimes like, seeing all those things can make you really stressed. But also for me, I find to-do lists a bit of like a reality check, like a Manisha, you need to get all this done by this date, get on it. And then I find myself doing work and I also really like is once I've done something on the to-do list, I love the fact that the feeling of like crossing it off or ticking it or deleting it from my list, like I feel like I'm being productive and the feeling of being productive like makes me want to do more things, which makes me more productive, if that makes sense. So for me, to-do lists are like my saviour. I had them on my phone or my laptop written down. I love them. And so for some of you guys, maybe it's not your thing. For some of you, try it. I love it, it hurt, like it works so much better for me. And then the final point, with de-stressing yourself, relax. You've done your preparation, you've done your list, you've done the work, now relax. Because, you know, once you're really stressed, once you're under pressure, once you're worrying, blah, 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 just stress, just relax and be nice to yourself. For me, I do maybe like two hours of work, then I watch a film, I watch a couple of YouTube videos, I do some baking, I have a nice long bath, Whatever you find relaxing and de-stressing, do it. You know, working continuously isn't gonna help you, it's probably just gonna make you more stressed. So de-stress and have moments to yourself where you can really just chill. You know, sometimes I'm trying to like meditate more, which I do recommend, it's good. It's a bit weird at times, but it's so, so good. It's something that I'm trying to do more. When I'm really wound up and I'm really worried about something, de-stress, take a moment to just chill out and be at peace and be happy. It's so, so good. Um, and so yeah, that, that's kind of my tips for you guys. So just to summarize, two-step procedure. Number one, identify and recognize that you're stressed out. Number two, do something about it. And within doing something about it, maybe you wanna do some preparation. Maybe you wanna make some lists and maybe you wanna be doing some de-stressing, relaxing things. So I hope that helps you guys out. Like I said, realize you are not alone. Everyone around you is stressed but it's okay, but just do something about it, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it like a little bit helpful, a little bit reassuring. Give it a thumbs up if you found that. Comment down below, what do you find really stressful at the moment? But also, what do you find really good to de-stress? Give me some ideas, talk to me, talk to me. 
Um, also, if any of you are wondering about my university procedure and how that's all going, that whole journey, I haven't actually heard anything back from any universities, but that's not like, oh, terrible, because no one doing medicine has, it's a long waiting game. But if any of you are wondering, I haven't heard anything back. Um, and so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to The Student Room if you liked it. Don't forget I have my own channel, Bit of a Fangirl, so go check out my videos. And check out my Instagram, at Bit of a Fangirl, my Twitter, at underscore Manisha P. And if you have any questions like usual, tweet me, Instagram me, comment it down below, and I should answer it soon. That's all for today. I hope you have a great half term and get working, but also de-stress. Bye!